Hello all, we are here for one more lesson of this AutoCAD 2016 uh, training course and we will continue seeing uh, the grips topic. This time will be about the dynamic input using grips. And the first topic I want to talk to you about is uh, how to activate or deactivate the variable that controls this dynamic input and you can reach this variable in two different ways first one is to write down uh, this this uh, variable name which is din mode din mode and enter and the enter again as you've seen previously in the command line you must give a value and the value can be 0, 1, 2 or 3 okay 0 will be uh, to turn this off and the values 1, 2, 3 will turn this functionality on I will show you uh, what is the difference between um, these three values knowing that the the number three as as the option will turn everything on okay i will show you how to do this uh, this is one way the second way is to go directly to the dialog box that has these um these options and turn them on whatever you want to have uh, on so um it, this, uh, this functionality should appear in this area but at this moment I can see that by default my AutoCAD does not have this uh, shown so I can go to this last icon called customization click it and go to the topic that says dynamic input and you will see that one thing will appear so on and this is new uh, at, at our rise we, 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 we can say this like this so uh, I can click this way is off this way is on and if I click with my right mouse button I can go and enter on the settings and I have this dialog box with all the options to turn on or off whatever I want so again uh, what we've seen on the command line the zero value turn everything off if I say uh, option number one only this pointer input will be on okay it will be like this okay if I put the option number two I have only this one okay and the option number three will have both them on okay um, this is something that we will see uh, in a couple of lessons about these uh, inputs and the coordinates and so on so it's important to know that we can activate this but not exactly uh, its meaning at this moment um, and now I want to show you uh, what are these grips and how to work a little with them so again I will make the same example that in my previous lesson drawing one line and drawing one arc and uh, again I will click to start on the line to activate the grips and now you can see that if I go for example to one of the uh, endpoints of the line I did not click anything okay if I go here is different but either here or here okay I can see I can see uh, values okay uh, on the length of the line and on the angle so uh, at this moment I can choose one of the options okay or if I click uh, you see that now I have this um, I, I cannot move my mouse you can see that a little white box with a value 
and for example if I click and say 100 to the length that I have now on this line I will increase uh, on the same direction I will do the enter and you see the line it's 100 units bigger I will do the same thing now again click and now I, I, I do not want to increase the length and I can click on the tab key from my keyboard and I can edit my uh, length directly okay I can say I don't want this uh, value I want a thousand and it will decrease and last if I do the same procedure I do the tab and the tab and now you see that I'm editing the angle of the line considering the zero degrees in this horizontal line okay so again and I will put 45 degrees and the line is changed I have a similar way to proceed like this on the arcs or circles I will click and I can come to the center or here okay if I click now uh, and I do the tab uh, again I will repeat it sometimes does not happen as we want okay I can come to the radius okay and I can change my radius and basically here it's what I can edit but I can edit also uh, the um, opening angle that I have in my in my arc so if I consider uh, the center aligned to this end point and aligned to this end point I have opening angle and I can change this also if I go and click here I can change for example 40 degrees and this is change so I have different uh, possibilities to edit uh, entities uh, not uh, only um, what we've seen in our last lesson I can have uh, a fine control on the things I do again as I told in my in my previous lesson there are entities which are not open to have this kind of addition but uh, at least these basic ones and a couple of more are possible to have this kind of behavior inside AutoCAD so uh, you can see a little more about these options in our theoretical part uh, and for that uh, ask us or send us uh, an email and we will uh, give you all the informations but for sure as long as you uh, train and use your software you will learn and discover more ways to work with this functionality